Hey guys. Well, it's been one of those days. It's hot as fucking shit out. It's Friday. And I completely spaced that these were supposed to be coming in. I got me a set of... Make sure it's held up right. Bluetooth headphones from fucking China. Off Wish. I paid $9 for these. Plus $2 shipping. I ordered them August 29th. And they came in today. Uh, they're the HBS 730s, which is also the LG ones. And if I go on Google, I'll put all the info. I'll put it up so you can actually read all the details on them. Now these things range anywhere from fourteen to forty four ninety nine. Most places. Eleven bucks. You gotta wait a minute. Watch I set up. Even spaces were supposed to be coming in today. I thought the ones I'm doing the review for that are getting sent to me were gonna be in before these ones. Apparently not. So, these are on me. Let's see what we got inside. I'm debating on ordering a Bug K surprise box. I'm just trying to find more stuff to do reviews on and unboxings and stuff like that. And I'm having a hard phones. time. Comes in this little plastic bag, as you can see. Now, it's actually not as beat up as you would imagine, because, I mean, all this stuff comes from China. Now, I found these at Walmart, too, and they wanted $64 for these at Walmart on the shelf. Back pretty decently. Charger, some spare earbuds, a little instruction manual, how to use, and it's all in English so you can read it. That's the downfall of which a lot of times the instructions will be all in Chinese. Or if you buy something that has to be plugged in, it normally does not have the right plug that we need. It has a European style with the two prongs. We got the headphones. And it's pretty nicely packed for a set of headphones. It's a bubble wrap. Those are the headphones. Now I'm supposing. Somehow these things are supposed to go into these little cups, like this. And like this. Not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, just little magnet holders. So yeah, those are the headphones. You have your volume controls right here. And you have your phone controls. And you have your skip, play, and pause button right there. Don't weigh that much. Those are not going to work. Let's see if we got pair that'll work. Like I said, I go through a lot of headphones. Like, a shit ton. Um, I like the iFrogs, the Jibs, the Skull Candies. 
mainly just because they're cheap and they sound decent and they're sound canceling because I need sound canceling. <coughs> uh, basically, while I'm at work, I wear headphones pretty much the whole entire day. So, I always like a good pair of headphones. Now, my issue with the headphones are, and the reason why I'm thinking about going to Bluetooth, I keep breaking the plug off. Well, not breaking the plug off, but the wire where it goes into the phone. Because my phone's in and out of my pocket all day. And I twist the wire, or I twist the wire, or it gets caught on something, or... The wires up here get caught on something, and it does not work out very well. I've broken just this month. We'll just go with this. Well, not this month. Last month. Just last month, I've went through six pairs of headphones. Um, so I figured if I can get some decent Bluetooth ones, that the battery time's not bad we might be able to make them last a little bit longer. Plus, I won't have the wires getting caught up. I mean, it gets kind of sketchy, guys. When you're working on a machine, and you're bent over or leaning over it, and next thing you know, your wires are caught. And it, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Let's see, are you guys charged? Hey, they're even charged. The other reason for the Bluetooth is, this is my third order case. They get stretched all the shit because I have this open, this part right here open all the time, so the rubber gets stretched out. Let's see how they sound. I'm probably gonna have to get the plugs off my other ones. Oh, that was the wrong button. Damn it. So apparently the volume control does not actually turn the volume up. That's a bitch. Actually, surprisingly, they're not bad. A lot of the headphones I've actually ordered off Wish, they got like this hollow sound. But these ones, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it or not. I forget where the mic is on this thing. So we're going to try both sides. Not bad. I mean, actually, surprisingly, not bad. Try something with a little more bass. Bass tone's not perfect. Uh, 
I mean, it's good. But it's not like punch you in the face base. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, guys, I can honestly say if you have the Wish app and you're looking to spend, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks for a decent pair of Bluetooth headphones, these ones aren't bad. And supposedly, we're going to find out. Um, we're going to do another review on these. This is just basic of generic starting review. We're going to do another review on these in about three or four days. Yeah, because I'll use them Monday. Yeah, probably Monday night we'll do another review on them. And we'll see after a full day's worth of work how I like them. But for as of right now, you can't go wrong for nine bucks. This is a little uncomfortable. Like, not like horrible, but I mean, it's a little bit. Like, I could see this being a pain in the ass. But I have to spread a little bit better. I mean, I'll probably loosen up. These magnets can be a little bit stronger because I'm thinking these things are going to fall the fuck off. But for nine bucks, I'd say that so far these would probably be worth the investment. Um, it's not going to break the bank if they don't work. Supposedly it's got 12 to 15 hours of music play, which for the most of these that I've seen, I don't know if these ones are waterproof because I know a lot of the ones I've been looking at are waterproof. I'd have to check, but seven hours, pretty much max runtime, which I thought was kind of weird because I have a Bluetooth headset that it's a big, massive Bluetooth headset. It's meant for truck drivers and stuff like that, so you can hear while you're talking while you're driving a truck with the windows down. Um, that was a hundred and seventy-five dollar headset, like headset. And that battery will last almost three days with it on and talking and everything else. And all these are like seven hours. I'm like, well, I work eight hours. There's my dilemma. I work eight hours and my headphones are going to die an hour before the end of the day. Like I said, I keep them on pretty much. Uh, the all charging day long. port is right here. So we're going to fully charge these and we're going to test these things out. And then we will be back Monday night. But so far, I can say the sound quality is not bad. Uh, the highs are decent. The highs are really decent. It's not like echoey and blood curdly. Uh, it's got bass, but it's not like super strong bass. But they're not junk, and they're nine bucks. And I don't mind taking. A nine dollar pair of headphones to work because if they break, I'm out nine bucks. Nine bucks, I'd say this is a good deal. Um, I'll put a link to. Uh, I'll find some on Amazon. I'll put a link on Amazon, or you can get if you have the Wish app, download the Wish app and just order them off Wish because they're cheaper off Wish than they are Amazon. Uh, but I'd say they're a good investment if you're looking for a cheap set of Bluetooth headphones or a cheap set of basically you can use them to talk on the phone too because it's got the mic and everything else on it so nice little hands free setup that's what I got for you I'd say you can't go wrong it's worth the investment if you're looking for a good set of headphones thank you guys for watching